Okay, now over here we got the living room set. That's where we do all the family crap. You know, it's really boring. But here, this is a butcher shop, and that was my idea. You know, the great thing about show business is everything's fake, you know? Like this wall here, it's a fake wall. I can put my fist right through it, watch. Ow! <laughs> hey, hey, break's over, buddy. Get back to work. <laughs> You wanted to see me, Jack? Yeah, hey, this is one of my talented writers, Nancy Mincher, mates. Hey, say something funny, Nancy. Uh, uh pickle. Pickle. That's <laughs> me. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, uh, Jackie, I feel a little strange being here. Relax, I'm not gonna hit on you. A little long in the tooth for me, anyhow. <laughs> hey, that's not what I meant. I meant I'm not supposed to be at the studio during a strike. Well, now, since you brought that up, listen, Nance, how would you like to become the new head writer and hire the new writing staff? You want me to cross the line? Oh, when you say it like that, it sounds so sleazy. <laughs> Think of it as scabbing. <laughs> Come on, I know you've wanted this job for a long time. Well, Jackie, you always said I wasn't good enough. Oh, oh, that was a joke, you believe me? I had her going there, see, I always joke with the writers, that's why they love me so much. <laughs> it's only one of the many reasons. <laughs> Come on, now think about the crew. You know, if we shut down, they're gonna be out of work, and most of those guys have kids, some of them even have wives. <laughs> How are they gonna pay for their liquor in those beat-up cars they drive? <laughs> Jackie. <laughs> My feet are killing me. Oh, mine too. What are you talking about? You've been in here drinking all day. Yeah, but you see how far it is from here to the bathroom? Have you guys seen Nancy? She was supposed to pick it with us today. I haven't seen her all day. Hmm. Damn slacker. Oh, look at this. The Jackie Thomas writer. Over one million meat jokes written. <laughs> hey, Grant, how do you know when the Seinfeld writers are on strike? Oh, I don't know. The show gets better? <laughs> oh, hey, fellas, I uh, didn't happen to see you at this year's Emmy Awards. Again? Uh, oh, burn me. Well, so Seinfeld's thinking, hey, my show's about nothing because my writers write about what they know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jackie Thomas, and uh, I used to butcher pigs for a living. Now I butcher jokes. The difference is, the jokes deserve to die. <laughs> Why, even the TV's thinking, who writes this crap? I should be watching Home Improvement. <laughs> with everyone else in the country. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. We should be fighting each other, come on. Let's face it, both our shows suck. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 funny. <laughs> Me yeah. too. Yeah, I can't yeah. act either. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, sorry about that meat crack. I uh, guess we've been a little on edge since the network made us start putting stories in the script. Mm. <laughs> We're a little on edge, too. Yeah, I understand, especially with scabs running your show. What are you talking about? I heard, uh, Jackie made one of your staff a new head writer. I heard that. <clears throat> so, Jerry Harper's thinking, hey, that bitch Nancy stole my job. <laughs> I think we need to talk about our characters, Doofus and Drippy. I'm not sure that you grasp the underlying motivations in their relationship. Well, it's a walrus and a seal. How complicated could it be? You want to work here or not? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I want to work here. Well, this story of yours is a mess. Do our characters learn anything? Do they grow? <laughs> Are they acting out the theme, or are they just talking about it? And what is the major dramatic question in the second act? Can Doofus get the bowling ball off his foot? Doofus does not have feet. He has flippers. I don't want to challenge your authority here at all, Mr. Lorry, but isn't this basically a series about a wise-cracking walrus and a stuttering seal? Well... It would seem that way, wouldn't it? 
in actuality, it's a microcosm of all the disaffected members of our society. Drippy is every man. <laughs> Haven't you read the character biographies? No. Well, it's time you did. This one is for Doofus. <laughs> and this is for Drippy. <laughs> Uh, Gilligan's Island is who is the sidekick? <laughs> Gilligan. No, but the show is called Gilligan's Island, and you usually don't name a show after the sidekick. Well, then it was the skipper. No, the skipper used to, the skipper used to hit Gilligan, and everybody knows that the sidekick can never hit the main guy. Yeah, it's weird. So, so what's the answer? I really don't know. Clearly, when Gilligan was on the boat, he was the sidekick. Uh, but the show took place on the island. Gilligan's Island. Now you're catching on fast. Another special case is Mr. Red. This is the first show in history where the main guy is an animal and this, the human is the sidekick. Now, actually, in McHale's neighborhood, we had two sidekicks. Uh, Mikhail had a sidekick and Captain Binghamton had a sidekick. We once tried to do a show where we are going to give a sidekick to another sidekick, but it got very confusing. So we changed it to a doctor's office instead. <laughs>